Good day, pinballers. It's uh, Nick back again. Um, I'm getting quite close to the end of our look at season two of the Pinball Arcade. Just two tables ago, and this one is the rather cool um, class of 1812. Um, published by Farsight Studios in 2014, part of Table Pack 19, which also come with Victory. Uh, pinballers would know this is based on the real-life table by Gottlieb from 1991 that had a unit run of 1,668. Now this is a supernatural monster theme, and the slogan that come with this table is frightful fun for all ages. So let's look at the table here, the playfield. There's quite a lot going on. We have that severed hand, that heart that beats um, during multiball, and that chattery teeth there, amongst a few other things. Now, um, the story behind this game is it's a reunion of a long dead um, school class, and they've all met up. Well, parts of them have, of any of these severed limbs or anything to go by. Uh, you've got white targets to advance the bato meter, and you can complete uh, coffin letters to create a two million jackpot that are hitting things across the left. So it's got pop bumpers, targets, rollers, ramps and spinners and so forth, but let's, oh dear, oh that was a bit lucky. Let's just see how far we can get, but there's a lot of cool speech in this. Let's try and get a few things. Now I want to get that heart bumping. Woo! Oh here we go, it's bumping already. Right, normally on this I can't keep multiple going for any more than about 10 seconds. And one's drained already, I didn't have much chance there. But during multiple, um, that chicken starts clucking and it's playing a version of Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture which goes du 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 bom bom which I'm sure you know or don't you know anyway well, that ties in with the class of 1812 same sort of theme right concentrate Nicholas see if we can get this to last at any decent length right what can we do? we've got to get it up there Right, there we go. So we got, um, that's one of the uh, saucer holes to create um, door open bonuses. Here we go. Now, out of this pack, I prefer this table to victory, which we'll be looking at next week. That's a bit samey. Someone playing the bagpipes. Blair. Thank you. I got a jackpot there. Goal one complete, oh, because I'm so good. Now watch out for when that heart starts beating and when those teeth chattering. I think the um, the, yes, well done, Drac. The um, hand on the right sometimes moves, but I'm not quite sure what you have to do to do that. If you get quite far into the game. But that uh, Dracula voice reminds me very similar to the one of Monster Bash from season one. Yes, you're excused. Yeah, have a check out Monster Bash. That one you have to reunite five um, grizzly ghoulies together. I think the Mummy and Frankenstein are there, as well as Dracula and the Wolfman. And uh, someone else who temporarily I can't remember. But this table is pretty much in the style of the Elvira or Elvira uh, games. It's that sort of tongue in cheek. If she turned up in this or a voice, it wouldn't be too out of character. Some cool lighting. There's a lot going on. Here we go. The playfield, the colours of the playfield remind me a little bit, unless I'm remembering wrong, of um, Theatre of Magic, which is one of the free tables that come with Pinball Arcade as the first four. So, you know, if you're into pinball and you haven't already, it's well worth looking at the Pinball Arcade because I think they're on Series 5 now at time of recording. The packs have got a bit more stingy. You used to get two tables per pack, now it seems to be one at a time. I know, so each season has less tables. But, you know, you could be keep playing this for quite some time, the variety of tables. If you don't like one, I'm sure there's some subject matter to find. A lot of Gottlieb tables in this season, too. Some a lot better than others. Right. See if we can get a multiple again, beating hard or something. This is the last ball here. So we might very well be having another look at this, another go. Hopefully not a hundred goes. Last one we reviewed was Terminator 2, and I really like that one. Ooh, I have to say, I do like the tables from the 90s more. All the others are good to look at from a historical point of view, and it's all over. But there's, when it gets to the 90s, tables really evolve. More sounds, more music, more lights. And more detailed playfield as well, really well thought out. I don't think Class of 1812 is based on any film at all. 
name is Gandhi and I'm your host. Revive my friends to score the most. Yeah, there's a lot of cra crappy rhyming in this, which adds the cheese value. Super cheese. Have you ever seen this one live in the open? Got another door prize. Oh, excuse me. As I say, not a really massive run, this 1,668 seems quite precise. Why not 2,000? Right, multiple. Let's see if I can keep this in. Du, du, du. Well done, Tchaikovsky. Du, 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 Here we go. Once you start getting good at this table, it does get a bit mad. There are secret ways to score loads of points. Maybe keep going for the centre run to activate the uh, million pound bonuses and so forth. Da -da 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 oh, and I've lost it again. Chicken. Not you. There's a chicken clucking. I don't know why there's a chicken clucking. Maybe the class of 1812 had a pet chicken where someone had to take it home each time as a school holiday. But what were schools like in 1812? I don't know, they couldn't have been that good. I think of Oliver Twist and workhouses really back then. I thought people were chimney sweeps. 1812, what was going on there? I don't even know who was on the throne in 1812. Right, how are we doing with the batometer? We've got three lights lit up on it. We're not doing very well spelling the coffin letters though. I can't see any of those come up. Excuse you. Yeah, but I'm, as you can tell, I'm not an expert on this one. Haven't played it too much. I don't know why. It's quite a fun table, really. Mainly familiar with the season one tables. I don't get too much time to play these. I make too many videos, I think. No, I don't. They're all fun, aren't they? Woo! What do you think? If you if you're a watcher of all the uh, pinball tables we've been going through from season one, or even Zen Pinball two, quite early on, which we'll come back to at some stage. What's your favourite table so far? I do like Mars Attacks and the Elvira ones, or Elvira, I still don't know how you pronounce her name. Tricky one. Champion Pub, we reviewed that quite recently, that's a, a good one. I like ones with a lot going on. A lot of, lot of engineering mechanics. Right, I think we just hit a bonus here by hitting some red lights on the side as I jibber jabbered. Get this music! Who's that singing? Oh, well, it was me that time. Oops, where do we go there? Is that... What ball was that? Is that ball one? I really want to get some ball locks or extra ball. Maybe there was extra ball. Is it still ball one? Oops. Try again. Plunge. Well done, Gottlieb. Produced so many tables. I think season three, which will come to after the victory table of next week, I think it's only got ten tables in it. Hmm, that's not good value. Or is it? We'll soon find out. Duh. Oh. Duh, well, that was the briefest one so far. But it's good you can get that multiple quite easily, though. So you get a bit of practice on it. Did someone just burp, then? Oops, has the ball got stuck? Don't know what happened there. I think I've hit the wrong button, the camera's moving about. And that's what I got from my, my stupidity. Yeah, you said that last time, Drackey. I think the bonus was held there, right, ball two. Oops. Should have nudged the table there. Silly, silly. Come on, mate. The last ball. We can do some good stuff here. Let's do some damage. The class of 1812. What happens to the class of 1811? Right, here we go. I will. Let's see if we can keep it going this time. Place your bets. How long can we keep it going? Five seconds? Two seconds? How long can the overture play here? Ooh, this is better than before. Remember to nudge the table if necessary. You need that. Some people think nudging is uh, cheating, but it isn't. Sometimes it's the only way to keep it going. Nudging is a part of the game. As all good pinball players will tell you, and I'll tell you as well. Yeah, that didn't end very long. There's some rings flashing on the uh, hand there. I really want to get it to move. 
don't know if I'm remembering it wrong. I'm sure I got it to move once. I've also got this on my phone, iOS. I'm sure I got it to move once when I was playing it on the bus. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Shoot the ball. Right, here we go. Yeah, multiple comes up quite a lot in this, doesn't it? Yeah, a million. I knew I could do it. That's the way to get points. Keep hitting that light. Yeah, there we go. Let's hit it again. Get multiple and hit that ramp up the left. Ow. Oh, curses. I was trying to play one ball at a time then and keep the other one reserved. So when I've got more than one ball flying at the same time... What? That was goal free, by the way. I don't know what that fella said. Something weird, no doubt. Oops. I think that may be it, unless we've got a special bonus ball. Hmm. So if you're playing... Oh, it was the end. So if you're playing this mix about with the views, there's a number of different views. Close, far, what have you. I, like, I tend to like this view because it gives me the most view of the play field. But mess about a bit. See which one you like the best, depending on what table you're playing. Well, I can't guarantee it. I might come back to you. Good, good stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I uh, hope you liked having a look at that one. Well done. Yes, I hope you liked having a look at that one. That was class of 1812. I got the table from 1991, but uh, ported by Fastlight Studios in 2014. Thanks for watching, as always. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Always love hearing your comments there if you like the table or don't like the table, or even what you're having for dinner. But those ones aren't quite as good. Until next time, take care and goodbye. Goodbye.